All right, boarding time today. I'm the literally very last last call. I didn't. I don't remember when last time did it like like this last time. This is last call. I'm one of the last ones. Pretty scary, to be honest. Don't do it. Uh, don't do it if you don't need to. Either way, this is boarding time. Boarding time. Last call. First class, business class, premium economy. Unfortunately. <laughs> Okay, I'm um, one of the last one today, literally everybody looking at me like a weirdo who just come to the plane and have to wait for me. Uh, but I made it. I had things to do. Uh, nobody said that flying is easy, right? <laughs> and not so busy, actually it was busier flying from Bali to from Bali to Singapore than Singapore to Bali. Hello, how are you? You made it. <laughs> I made it. <laughs> Ensure that your tray table is stored away. Put the back of your seat upright and keep your shoes on. All right, just arrived to the Bali International Airport, Nurare. I'm gonna show you as much as possible how does it look like a process. Basically, over here you come, basically, uh, looking for health check. So basic, they basically they will uh, ask you for the QR code. And there somewhere here is visa on arrival. I think this is visa on arrival. There is a first the health check, so health check first. Basically, you just need to show them the certificate of your vaccine as you have it, then apply for the visa on arrival, and then you go to uh, immigration. And I'm gonna tell you, it's very, very quiet on the airport today. When I was last time here, it was definitely very busy, but today, very quiet, very quiet indeed. So here, exactly here, they're checking your vaccination, and then you're moving to visa on arrival, and then you're moving to immigration. There for the everyone, and there for the Indonesian Rokitas. Pretty, that's it. If you have a kita, so if you are Indonesian, maximum five minutes. Full process is maximum five minutes. If you are a tourist, I don't know how long, but wasn't that big queue as you saw it. I couldn't feel more, but uh, well, it's uh, 7 p.m. weekday. Also in the belt situation, seems like it's not so busy because, well, I don't know. Actually, it seems kind of quiet to me today to compare last time when I was going from uh, Thailand. So eventually we come back from Singapore to Bali with my uncle and auntie. What you know? <laughs> How's your trip, guys? Right? All yes. good? We had a best, best birthday present ever for 16. Yeah. 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 Thank you yeah. for coming yeah. with us. Thanks for coming awesome. along. Yeah, it was great. I hope you had fun. Yeah. Thank you for having me. <laughs> me. <laughs> Next time we're gonna come together with Winnie. Yeah. yeah. That will be cool. Sure. Yeah. Oh, Winnie needs to come. Yeah, she does. Definitely. And next to the belts, of course, you have this uh, declaration of customs or for customs. You still have to fill it. Also, you have an English form, Indonesian form, or you can do it online also filling uh, this one. So you can maybe make a picture and do it already now. After customs, you have uh, um, offices of the SIM cards. I'm going to tell you what's the prices for everyone who are interested. A uh, little bit overpriced, actually, but it's easy to have it. And of course, you don't have it like this one as nobody waiting for you anymore. Now you have some shops and it's like, unfortunately, we really couldn't pick me up today. There is actually better already after you pass the shops and WH coming here. Maybe it's cheaper actually. Actually, no, it's pretty the same. You can see 
18 GB for 250 so it's pretty expensive actually better not and it's like a transport service stuff like this yo what's up how you doing then you have a Starbucks and then you have area where the drivers are waiting for you but uh, like I said last time the on the other line uh, you know now it's a lot of changes you can go also upstairs to the arrival zone. There are one mate who are calling you already mate, categorize you yes, from Australia, even you are not from Australia. They are, but I'm not. <laughs> uh, and you're going here uh, from the, you know, what is it? Now is the area where the drivers are waiting or some pick up people from you. And they cannot shout at you or anything. We have a driver organized by uncle and auntie. I don't know where they are. Also, so much reconstruction over here is going on. Not sure what they are doing today, but uh, so many drivers and stuff like this. Um, yeah, if you if you wanna take a taxi from like I did last time, I go by this lift going up and pass this bridge and took the taxi where somebody dropped off somebody. I just took it straight. What? This is in my opinion the easiest and the cheapest way. But like I said, we have organized transport today. I also gonna try to show you where is the grab bus. This way over here. Uh, going into bus pickup direction over here and there should be the grab station i will try to show you actually because somebody asked me also buddy taxi oh and we have a bus we have a driver lindy and lee this is their their friend yo how you doing <laughs> so cool so, so basically you're working and there are still people who calling you taxi boss and like this so you have to be careful of this uh, because they are actually seems like they are come back already and um, it's actually you know they are come back a little bit yes, like this you. one over there is the grab office the the green one the green one is the grab uh, also you can take it they're gonna help you to order down on the app they have a wi-fi um, you know all of this stuff they have also aircon launch uh, there is taxi stand where you can also take a Bali taxi, uh, but this is all the most expensive options anyway. And you can also deal with your, uh, with the people who are there. Yeah, I'm going to Renon boss. Uh, this is the Grab launch, of course. Yeah, and also some money changing. Yeah, stuff like this, Bali airport. All right, guys, I come back to Bali. It's the harvest time, by the way. That's the close where I'm living. Um, the procedure in airport looks like this one. I try to make as many shots as possible so you can understand how does it look like when you arrive in Bali International Airport. Definitely they will check your vaccination if you have it. If you don't have it, I don't know actually what you have it to do it. I think you have to have a PCR test and they will let you know anyways. Uh, if you have a vaccination, you just show them the certificate and pretty that's it. And then you have to buy visa on arrival. What I showed you is actually next to each other. Everybody will tell you what to do if you have a kita sofia indonesian you just pro proceed directly to the you know immigration and also if you have a kita so indonesian you don't need to wait in the queue took me five minutes literally so that was actually very easy and also the airport situation with the taxi and transportation once i also told you how to do to take just the taxi from the departure when somebody uh, having a drop off so it's many options if you want to take an airport taxi or grab is also you know where is it it's going to be rainy or something. Anyways, I'm back to Bali already. Uh, today, later, I'm gonna make a video for you. Gonna make some updates. Um, well, basically, I will see you tomorrow. I make this video a little bit shorter today because I didn't want it to show you much from the airport from Singapore because I knew many of you guys are interested about how's the situation in Bali airport because I got so many requests. Um, so I hope so you enjoyed. Anyway. Uh, I feel a little bit like a jet lag or something. <laughs> I will see you tomorrow on next on regular vlog from Bali. See ya, take care.